In each episode of this series, I will offer an applicant a blind choice of either a pleasant experience, a treat, or a darker trick. They won't know which one they've chosen, and they may not know how or when it will happen to them. All the applicants responded to advertisements. These are the six people that I've selected. They just don't know it yet. Welcome to Trick or Treat. Tonight's applicant is Ishani, a 21-year-old student who lives in London. We had her friend invite her to a restaurant in Notting Hill, and we filled the place with extras and hidden cameras. Can I have the squash soup, please? Squash soup? Followed by the spinach and the Shani. Hi. Hello. So you've applied to be part of the show? Yes. And I'd like to say we'd love to use you. Okay. Okay. What happens to you depends largely upon your choice of one okay. of these two cards. All right? Okay. Now one of them says trick. Okay. All right? And uh, one of them says treat. Okay. All right? If you pick the treat card, then what happens to you will be something lovely, be something okay. very nice. If you pick the trick card, it won't be. It'll be something that is unpleasant and could be quite dark. Right. Would you like to play? Yes. You would? Excellent. So, I need you to sign your contract. Which kind of allows us to do anything we like with you. Okay. So we take that, have a little read through it, and uh, if you can just sign your name at the bottom for me, that Thank would be you. great. Just at the bottom would be lovely, thank you. I'm really shaky. <laughs> lovely, thank you so much. <sighs> lovely signature. Okay. So I'll mix these up. And ask you to select either one. And you'll do that just by placing your finger uh, on top of either one. So if you could choose one for me. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. No, that's uh, that's terrific. Lovely. Well, you can expect uh, a phone call in the next couple of weeks. Okay. There's your plate back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll let you know later whether she's picked a trick or a treat. Now, I've always been a big fan of Pop Idol, so I was very excited to learn that Simon Callow had agreed to come on the show. So it's never been here before? No. No. Me neither. No. There was a stately home now used as primarily as an art gallery. Yeah, when we go in, what I've done, I, I paint, I paint uh, portraits, and right. uh, we've put some of mine up in a up in a room. We'll have a cursory look at them, and then we'll sit down and get into the thing that I, I'd like to do with you. Done. So, uh, awesome. mm. these are they. How fantastic! I love your awesome. Thank you very much. Fabulous. Yes, of course. Yes, yes, of course. Yes, you? indeed. You just had a just had a new one. <laughs> My friend? Of course, yes. And uh, your good self over there. <laughs> oh, very nice. A younger, more beardy incarnation. <laughs> Actually, don't look it's at like, it too much for now. Right. I've got to read. If you take a seat, Father. Yes. Yeah. 
One of the uh, one of the reasons why I like painting these things is because I'm interested, in, I suppose, in how much we pick up from people's faces and how much we read, in particular from the eyes. Yes. Because there's so much that we read from a person and pick up at an entirely unconscious level, just purely from the eyes. And what I'd like you to do is to look at mine, and I will look at yours, and I'm going to try and transmit something to you, which will be a word. I'm going to ask you to sort of relax a bit and put your hands by your side. Thank you. So it's a word that I'm thinking of, which I'm going to try and send to you. Uh, it is four letters long. All right? It's not a rude word. It is four letters long. And uh, very important that at the moment, we just verify that I haven't, until this point right now, given you any indication what we're going to be doing today at all. No. So I haven't asked you to consider any words, nor asked you to or put any words in your head, That's or any, anything like that at all. No. Great. Okay. It's important these things happen right now as we're talking. Good. So if I asked you what the word is that I'm thinking of, it would be impossible for you to know right now, unless you just guessed, all right? Yeah. But rather than you thinking it is impossible, what I'd like you to do, Simon, is to sort of just imagine, just sort of almost sort of play the role that, it, that you did know, as if it was something easy, as if you had the ability to read my mind, so it becomes an easy thing for you, mm. uh, like a game, like a game that we're playing. Mm. So if I told you, for example, that I'm sending you the first letter now, that I'm concentrating on the first letter of this four-letter word, and instead of thinking that sounds impossible, you just go for whatever letter feels right, as if you just know the first letter, so the first letter is, what is that? Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, very good, exactly. So that's just an easy thing, just comes to your mind without you having to worry about it. So now just start to turn that in your mind into a, into a word. You've got the first letter, and there could be various four-letter words beginning with R. What's the second letter of that four-letter word? A. No, it's not. Okay, just take a second. Do keep your eyes open, but just, just reconsider that. So we're after the second letter of the word. It's not an A. I think you're just perhaps a little quick off the mark. What's the second letter? O. O. Very good. Excellent. So you've got R and O. Now there are various options, various follow to words beginning with R and O, but what is sticking in your mind at the moment? It has nothing to do with the environment we're in, by the way. Not that I can think of anything that might be influenced by the environment. Not that you'd be aware of at a conscious level. What's you the want word? To say the word? Yes. Road. Road. R O A D. Yes. As in a street. A road. Exactly. Yes. Not yes. R O D E. R O A D. No, R O A D. R O A D. Now. That word, as far as you're concerned, just popped into your mind as I was talking to you? Yes. Nothing you'd considered before? No. Okay. And are you aware of anything since we've met that might have influenced you? Just come and have another look at the painting with me, but nothing you're aware of that could have influenced you to choose that word? No. Felt entirely fair and free? Yes. Okay. I didn't give you much of a chance to look at this earlier on, uh, and I had my reasons for it. If you just come in a little bit closer, I don't know if you can see anything at all strange about it. Can you see just in the eye there? No, I can't without my glasses. Put your glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> can you read it? I can. R O A D. It says. R O A D. It is painted <laughs> in the picture. That's extraordinary. That's amazing. And when you saw the picture just as you came in, you weren't consciously aware. Of, <laughs> you shouldn't. It's so on. faint. No, you didn't even know exactly. exactly. So exactly. you wouldn't have been able to read it. Had a contract. and that really is something. It's not. You can say it's not a. It's not stuck on. That is. A, Oh, fantastic. You've proved a, uh, a delightful and responsive subject. Thank you, Simon. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You. I had a word starting with R. It was actually the word raft. And then it sort of morphed in my mind into a road. He couldn't have got up and done it, for example, since I uttered the word. No, no way at all. Uh, it's what it is. It's there, clearly written in my right pupil. I have Ashani come to meet me so that I can tell her what's in store for her. I know from talking to her that she lacks confidence and is becoming disillusioned with her college work. This will form the basis for her trick or treat. I'm very up and down with it, between getting really inspired and really defeated. I need her to forget everything she's learned so far about her own abilities. I can then start to rebuild her confidence and create a real positive state in which she believes anything is possible. Become something very powerful. Can you play the piano? A, a basic. Okay. Would you be prepared to embarrass yourself usually by uh, uh, giving us a sort of shot? Try. Go on. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Take a seat. So one week from now, you are going to be giving a concert, a piano recital, at uh, Wigmore Hall in London. That is, but that is the last time you're going to play the piano between now and then, all right? 
Forget the piano, forget playing the piano, and just focus on the things that, that, that I tell you. I have her listen to the piece of music that she'll have to play, and I'm teaching Ishana using six or seven different levels of unconscious learning. So the music becomes something that you feel inside you, inside of your limbs, inside your head, along your eyes. We continue to monitor Ishani to ensure she's doing the exercises I set her. One week from now, she'll have to play at Wigmore Hall, the famous chamber music venue. I'm really looking forward to it, but the kind of thinking part of me would really like to know what's going on. There seems to be something missing. After the sessions with their own, I don't really remember that much. I don't really think about it. I really haven't discussed it with my friends. I suppose they're slightly concerned that I'm spending hours with the crazy mind control guy and I don't remember what's happening. Ishani has returned for her final session with me. In three days' time, she will have to play a piece of music at Wigmore Hall. So each line and each space corresponds to a note on the keyboard. All right, and forgive me if you... I start with a rudimentary introduction as to how the notes on the manuscript paper relate to the keys on a piano. E, 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 go F on you, go F. you take a mental take photograph, a photograph of each page. Throughout the session, I continue to use a variety of subliminal techniques to develop her skills. It's just about forgetting, forgetting everything, everything and forgetting, forgetting playing the piano, playing the piano, piano and, and, and just, just, just allowing yourself just focusing on, focusing on that area around your finger, storing, storing and archiving. archiving. Imagine, Imagine yourself on stage, stage with the advantages of a slowed down sense of time. So your own so your internal own process, process is working so much so quicker much than the you can believe that it's hopeless and that you haven't got a clue how to play a note. You can, you can believe that if you like, if you like or you can make a choice, choice to allow it to lost in the music that you're creating. More of Ashani later. We go to Gallagher's Steakhouse in New York. It was one of the first Prohibition era speakeasies for the gamblers and stars of Broadway. Tonight, diners have been told that there is a camera crew documenting the abilities of one of the waiters who claims to be psychic and handsome. Hi there, how are Hello. you guys doing? Are you ready to order? Yeah. Yes. Okay, don't tell me what you want. I'm going to try and do that for you. Oh. All right. Okay. okay. So, first of all, I'm going to put you both down, I think, for the same starter. Um, and I think that's going to be the soup. Yeah? Yeah. The main course. I think you're going to go for uh, a lighter option. I don't think there's actually vegetarian there, but I'd put you down, I think, for the salmon. Yes. I'm going to put you down for the steak. Yeah, of which there's more than one. We'll go for the... Got to do better than that. Hanger steak. You got it. How do you like that medium row? <laughs> you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Desserts. Again, lighter for you. So cheesecake for you. And uh, I, so I think I'm going to go for the custard or the sorbet. I'm going to go for the custard for you, am I right? Yes. Excellent. Good. Well, thank you. Um, well, if you don't mind, I'll take this a little bit further. Uh, you, uh, I think you both see yourselves as uh, highly dynamic and charged people, and people that seem to sort of um, circle the world in a different orbit from the rest of us, and they tend to make otherworldly connections with each other. So I'd imagine one of the things that brought you together would be the fact that you'd be the same star sign. Is that correct? Yeah? Now, it's bullshit, and I don't believe in that, but Pisces, Aries? Aries, Pisces, one of the two? Yeah, Aries, great, okay. Um, think of something I, I, I really couldn't know. Do you have a, uh, you have a pet? I used to. Used to. Okay, what, what, what type of pet? A dog. A dog, okay. Can you remember his name? Yes. Or her name? Great, okay, just, just say the name to yourself. In fact, just, uh, just p pick a letter somewhere in the middle of the name. All right, I'll just try it with a letter somewhere in the middle of the name. Just look at me and think it's an L. Is it an L? Yeah. Yeah? Great, okay, just say it yourself. This is a, a dog you used to have. Died a few years ago? No. No, you've given him to somebody else. Okay, all right. Roly, 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 Riley. Riley? Ro again? Riley, okay, <laughs> excellent. And is James proud of you? Yeah. Yeah, your father? Yeah. You see, what you've learned from him, you've learned a real um, a kind of a, a dislike of authority, a dislike of being told kind of what to do, constantly trying to you have trouble paying your uh, car uh, speeding fines, speeding tickets. It was like a parking ticket. Did you get I into never... trouble for it? Uh, no. Oh, I can see you not paying parking tickets and getting into trouble for that. <laughs> When you were young, you did something with your sister. You, you uh, cut or damaged or something your sister. Was it with the razor? Yes. Good, you should call your sister more often. Elizabeth? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. You should call her. She'll visit more often if you talk to her more. Enjoy your meal. I'll go get your food. Thank you. Thank you. The thing is, 
I didn't pay a ticket, and I lost my license. I don't know if he meant that. It's the morning of the piano recital, and my first session with Ashani was only just over a week ago. She still isn't sure whether she chose a trick or a treat. Can you play the piano? Basic. You are going to be giving a concert, a piano recital. But that is the last time you're going to play the piano between now and then. Do you know what card you, you picked? Do I know what card I picked? I think I picked treat. I think it feels like a treat so far. If I don't completely go with it, then I know there's even less chance that it's going to work. Um, I, yeah. No, it will be fine. It has to be. Gonna come down and have a quick look at this. You look amazing. Thank you. you. Look amazing. How are you feeling at the moment? All right. A bit shaky. Okay. Yeah. You seem a bit less confident than. Uh... Yeah. It's kind of deteriorated slightly since I last saw you. I think. Okay, Let's go down and have a look at the stage. <laughs> this is a piano. <laughs> have a seat. Let's get comfy. No playing. So, just so you know, um, just to give you a starting point, the first notes of the piece are this C here and this C here. Okay? Mm -hmm. And we need to let the audience in because people are already here, they're sort of mingling around in the foyer. Okay. Um, it just sure. seems insane. I think I, uh, either me or Darren, or both of us are insane. Ishani is one of three pianists performing today, and we've made sure she goes on first in the concert. I just don't want to do it. Genuinely. Uh. That nervousness, that adrenaline will, you know, it will aid your performance. It'll be fine. Just trust it. Sit down. Start playing. It'll all come. This is a sophisticated lunchtime audience who regularly attend recitals and are used to a very high standard of playing.
Oh, wow. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you. How are you doing? Go I'm on. really, really shaky. Come on, let's get another drink. Was that the first time she'd ever played a piano? She's very impressed. She must have a lot of concentration. She also must be very bright, I would guess. Simply amazing. I mean, you can't believe that, really. I mean, a good questions asked about that, I should think. <laughs> Oops. You look like you'd played the piano all your life. Um, yeah, it was really strange. Um, I was uh, terrified, but I just... I just really got into it and it was really fun. It was great, thank you. Thank you. And it just felt natural and normal when you were doing it or were you like, what the hell are my fingers doing? Or, no, you... it, felt, it felt like I'd played before. It felt like you'd played a million times before? Yeah. Excellent. Well, cheers. cheers. Thank you. Cheers. You did play amazingly. And the real reason why you played amazingly tonight um, is that you have actually played all your life. You've been playing since you were tiny. You've played all your life and you are a very good pianist. The reason why I did this was because when I first spoke to you about playing the piano, you told me that you were sort of a little jaded by it, that when you were seven, you were able to play and it was something exciting and power... Yeah, take a drink. Something <laughs> exciting and powerful and positive and that as you'd grown up, it'd sort of become something you'd kind of lost that excitement and lost that connection with. I'm very up and down with it, between getting really inspired and really defeated. All the practice that I've taken you through wasn't really to teach you how to play the piano in a week. It was to do the opposite of that. It was to undo all the teaching that you had and to make you forget how to play the piano. Forget the piano. Yeah. piano. Forgetting, Forgetting everything. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go. I haven't got a clue how to play a note. Forgetting playing the piano. Playing the piano. It's not about that. And when you weren't with me, I always made sure you were unaware of what I'd been doing. After the sessions with Zara, and I don't really remember that much, I don't really think about it. From now on, every time you sit down in front of a piano and start playing, your mind will take you back to this day. Okay. And reconnect you with the excitement that you had when you were seven that you'd lost as you were growing up. Okay. And that was your real treat. Okay. But thank you so much for trusting me and going with it and going out there and doing it because I know in your head you'd never played before and that was so brave of you and you're fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so proud of you. Thank you. You've got an amazing talent. Thank you. Since the concert, I've been very, very, very excited, um, just beaming all the time. The experience has made such a big difference. I had an exam quite recently, um, and I got the result, and it was much better than I had expected. It's definitely been seen as a positive thing by my tutors.